Hey folks, this is Kalani. Welcome back to the Castle Nathria Raid Guide for Normal and Heroic. In this video, we'll be taking on the Sun King's Salvation Encounter. To claim victory here, you'll need to heal Kael'thas up to full health. So make sure your healers are constantly healing him as they are able to. The faster you heal him, the faster you get through the fight. Your entire raid can help heal the boss with the four pedestals that are located just below his platform. Channeling a pedestal will transfer your health to Kael'thas and it will deal increasing damage over time to you. So make sure anyone using a pedestal is being healed and you'll want to use pedestals as often as possible to quickly get through the fight. After using a pedestal you will get a debuff that increases your damage taken from the pedestal so rotate the players who are donating their health. This encounter is all about ad management. You start the fight with a big ad called High Torturer Darathos. He will cast Greater Castigation. This marks several players and they pulse for AoE damage. Spread out with this ability and you don't have to worry too much. Vile Oculists are one of the more important ads because they will cast Vulgar Brand. This deals damage to your entire raid and leaves a debuff on them that increases all damage taken. Interrupt this as often as you can. Oculists also drop an Essence font where they die. If your healers heal this Essence font up to max health, it will heal Kel'thas for 1% of his max health. So be sure to heal these up when you see them. If you're having trouble actually seeing the Essence font, you should get a frame on your boss frames to help you target and heal them. Rockbound Vanquishers are also a high priority target due to their concussive smash. This deals AoE damage to the entire raid and every time they cast it the next one deals more damage. So this will eventually one shot you if you don't kill this ad quickly enough. They also apply a bleed to the tank with aggro so be sure to tank swap if stacks get too high. The Bleakwing Assassins randomly mark players with a large red arrow and teleport to that player inflicting damage and applying a damage over time effect to anyone nearby. Just spread out with this. They also try to cast Return to Stone when they get to low health. If this cast finishes, they'll heal to full, so make sure your raid focuses them down. Pestering Fiends, a small imp adds, they deal random damage to your raid and they explode when they die. Group them up as best you can, AoE them down and don't stand where they explode. And then the most important ad is the Soul Infuser. These ads rush towards the pedestals and constantly drain Kael'thas' health, so stun them, slow them, root them, and nuke them down. You can't let these ads get to Kael'thas. They are your top priority at all times. When Soul Infusers die, they drop a big red orb. Interacting with the orb gives a 50% increased healing buff that stacks. Your healers should grab this orb to help keep everyone alive and to pump a bit of extra heals into Kael'thas. Your kill order for adds should be Soul Infusers first, then Vile Oculists, then Rockbound Vanquishers, then Bleakwing Assassins, and Pestering Fiends will probably die to passive AoE. When Kael'thas gets to 45% health, a Shade of Kael'thas will spawn in the middle of the room. While a Shade is active, Kael'thas cannot be healed by any means, so don't waste your time. If you deal 10% of the Shade's health in damage, it disappears, so you can continue healing the boss. Another Shade will spawn when Kael'thas gets to 90% health, so you have to deal with two Shades throughout the entire fight. The Shade needs to be picked up and tanked and will cast a Fiery Strike on the tank with aggro. This deals damage in a 12 yard frontal cone, so always face the Shade away from the raid. This ability also applies a damage over time effect on the tank, so you should tank swap whenever the debuff expires. At 100 energy, the Shade will cast Blazing Surge, a huge 40 yard frontal cone on the tank. Just face him away from the raid. On heroic mode, the boss targets a random raid member with this ability, so everyone should move away from them to avoid the large frontal cone. This ability also leaves patches of fire on the ground, so don't stand in those. You will also have to deal with Ember Blast. This marks a random raid member with a fiery circle that deals a large amount of damage. This damage has to be split with at least five other players, so stack up on the target. This will also leave a damage over time effect on players who are hit and leave fire puddles on the floor, so avoid those. Phoenix ads will also start to spawn and they fixate and chase random players. They deal constant AoE damage, so they should be kited around the outside of the room with slows and roots. They also drop pools of fire wherever they go, shocker I know, so don't stand in those either. The Phoenix ads aren't really worth DPSing because when they die they regenerate in about 20 seconds, so just kite them around. 
After the shade disappears, you're back to just dealing with the adds, get the boss healed up to 90%, deal with that second shade, and you're well on your way to victory. And that's all you should need to take down Sun King's Salvation on Normal and Heroic. Stay tuned for more boss guides covering the rest of the raid. A big thank you to all of our supporters over on Patreon, and to everyone who has subscribed on Twitch. You can see their names floating by on screen. If you want to catch us live, pop on over to twitch.tv slash KalaniTV. We do a bunch of stuff, as well as stream our Mythic Progression raids. Thanks for watching folks, good luck and have fun, and as always I will see you next time.